Hi, this is Denver Riddle, your host from Color Grading Central, and in this video tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to create cross-processing looks. Cross-processing is a photochemical technique where film is processed in the wrong type of chemicals that it was intended for. The most popular technique is processing color slide film in color negative chemicals, resulting in gnarly color shift, higher contrast, and increased saturation. The look has become popularized in music videos and in fashion magazines. Let's look at how we can duplicate the cross-processing technique in DaVinci Resolve. In our example here from a fashion shoot, we'll start by creating the most common type of cross-processing and that is of color slide film being processed in color negative chemicals. I'll add a new node for our look and then using the curves editor, we'll start by creating the color shift. I need to make sure the curves are unganged first, so I'll uncheck that option. Next, I will add an S curve to the red channel. I'll do this by placing a point here at the bottom of the curve and then a point here at the top of the curve. Now I'll bring down the shadows by dragging the bottom point down and then bring up the highlights by pulling up on the top point. This creates the S curve. Next I will lower the highlights in the blue channel by dragging the top part of the curve down. And then I'll bring up the shadows by bringing up the bottom part of the curve. Lastly, I need to add a subtle S curve to the green channel. And now we've created the color shift, but we still need to add contrast and saturation. So to do that, I'll add another node. And then going to the color wheel palette, I'll change it to log mode and add contrast with the contrast control. You can see that it added contrast and increased the saturation. Let's take a look at the before and after. Really awesome look. You can see why it's so popular. And let me share with you a slight variation you might see with this technique. I'll add a new version, then going back to the node with the color shift, and now I'll pull up on the bottom point of the green channel to add a little more green in the shadows. Let's compare the two versions. They both look great. Now let me share with you how to create the less common cross-processing technique and that is of processing color negative film in color slide chemicals. I'll add a new version, reset the nodes, and in the third node, I'll create the typical color shift you'd see in this technique by bringing up the shadows in the red channel. Then bringing up the shadows in the blue channel and a little in the highlights too. Finally, I'll bring up the highlights in the green channel. To get the contrast and saturation of this technique, which typically has lower contrast and muted colors, I'll go to the next node, and then going to the color wheel palette again, I'll adjust the contrast control the opposite direction. This lowers the contrast and saturation as an inverse S-curve. As you can see, it's not that flattering and it's certainly not my favorite flav. I think for this reason, it's a technique that you don't see that often. Let's get back to the other ones. Much better. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you have fun creating cross-processing looks.